Andrew Barry, talking uh, about using draft picks to fill rotational spots on the roster. So I would, you know, one thing to say, like Bill Pullen always used to say when I was a scouting assistant, your needs today aren't your needs tomorrow. So I don't know that I ever feel, you know, really settled in terms of um, addressing needs. Um, you know, ideally, you want to be in a position as a roster where you're not relying on rookies to have major roles. Now, look, every roster in the NFL will have strengths and weaknesses. There's no, you know, there's no perfect roster and there are going to be spots where maybe you rely a little bit more on younger players than um, organizationally you desire. Um, but we really want to make sure that, that you know, as we're in maybe this life cycle of the team, you know, we're in a position where, um, you know, younger players can maybe integrate into the NFL and develop in the NFL at, you know, probably maybe more of an appropriate pace. And, Scott, um, I think that was one of the issues – Last year, defensive tackle. They didn't have that, so they, they went out and corrected that um, in free agency. Yeah, and I think it speaks to where they hope the roster is, where they believe the roster is, um, the urgency to win now. Um, I think all that is, yes, a roster is pretty set, but you need to fill in some holes. You need to have kind of a succession plan, right, because you can't keep paying all your guys a bunch of money. And I think we might start to see that at certain positions. Um, you know, talk about running back. There's a transition there from Kareem Hunt. Um, you know, at receiver, how's it going to look next year? Donna Peoples-Jones is um, going to be a free agent after this year unless he signs an extension. So how do you figure out that position moving forward? So, I, you know, it's interesting. We all focus on this year and this draft. But Andrew Barry's not, he's not BSing when he talks about having a foot in the present and a foot, foot in the future and how – your draft needs or your team needs change even from one day to the next, right? Stuff happens. Guys get hurt. Guys get arrested. You never exactly know, which is why you can't be completely need driven in the draft, even though we all want him to be because you're all fo you're everybody's focused on 2023. Yeah. And, and um, you can't continually sign free agents to pl plug holes. You, you have to develop some as well.